Well, if I mention the word hemp, you probably think of marijuana, pot smoking and the like, all the illegal stuff. Well, there are other, are other ways to use hemp. You can build houses with it, even furnish that house with hemp homewares, make musical instruments out of it. Overseas, they have things like hemp pasta, hemp chocolate bars and other goodies that can improve your health. And if the government can see its way past the stereotypes, hemp products could be on our supermarket shelves by the end of this year. Francesca Belperio reports. I've got the eco answer for building plastics and food. It's the green leafy plant that's been given a bad rap over many years. But ask Paul Bennett and he'll tell you why we should all be happy on hemp. You could smoke a field of it, you could eat a field of hemp seeds and all you would do is get healthy or if you smoked a field you'd get sick eventually um, but you wouldn't get high. He's not talking about the type of hemp that contains high levels of the illegal drug THC. That plant is called cannabis indica or marijuana. But cannabis sativa is the agricultural hemp plant that has uses beyond your wildest imagination. We use different varieties. They grow anywhere from one meter to seven meters tall. So one crop can grow 110 days, seven meters tall, and provide tons of high quality protein, essential fatty acids, and then a fiber that can be used for building and bioplastics as well. From bioplastic bowls to building materials, clothing, skin creams, even food. In the subtropics of Byron Bay, Paul has been growing industrial hemp for 13 years, creating his own range of hemp products. You could build an entire house of hemp. The walls, you could build the fibre boards, the inlay, you can create paint from hemp. We have hemp lampshades, hemp chairs, hemp rugs, hemp upholstery, hemp kitchen tables, and, and the things that we use in these, these places as well. I have hemp bed sheets and a hemp bed, and it, yeah, everything can be made from this one amazing plant. Shredded cannabis is mixed with lime and water to create hempcrete. It's stronger than concrete, eco-friendly and inexpensive. The walls are great for insulating. They're completely rodent-proof. It's also fire-resistant. A hemp home that you would build yourself, it would cost in materials very similar to what a brick veneer would cost. This is a fibre matting product. This is used actually in car bodies. So basically most cars, including Mercedes, Holden, and other vehicles use this in the internal car parts, so in the door panels, in the dashboards, and in spoilers. Then there's hemp bioplastics, bowls and frisbees. Paul's even created music with this plastic hemp didgeridoo. You can smash concrete and can smash other things also, um, and not break whatsoever. So they're extremely strong um, material from 100% plant-based that is also biodegradable and can go straight back into the soil. But Paul's real passion lies in these tiny seeds and their nutritional benefits. They're a very high source of protein, high quality digestible protein and omega-3 and omega-6 essential fatty acids. These, this plant and these seeds can be used in making breads, it can be used like sunflower seeds, it can be ground up into a flour, it can be used in snack bars, in making drinks, in making non-dairy milks. I'd love to offer it to you, but sorry. That's because in Australia, it's illegal to consume hemp. But Paul and other growers are lobbying for that law to change, arguing we're missing out on a $500 million hemp food market. People do buy these um, for rubbing on their skin in Australia and New Zealand. They're not to be taken whatsoever. Yeah. You can buy these, take them overseas and eat them, of course. So when you're on holiday, you can become healthy. Australia is one of the last Western countries in the world that doesn't yet allow hemp as a food. Right across the globe, people are munching on the super greens, from hemp pastas to chocolate bars, ice cream, even a snack bar created by Paul himself when he lived in the UK. Today, um, the first snack bar that I created is the most successful health food product full stop in all supermarket chains in the UK and is now being sold throughout Europe. Even food standards Australia and New Zealand agree hemp foods are safe. But the final decision lies with our pollies, who will vote on changing the law later this year. Paul hopes the debate won't be clouded by dopey stereotypes. 
there has been concern that industrial hemp seeds, rather than being used as a high protein source and high essential fatty acid source, may be considered a drug or may promote drugs in some way to the people. This has been shown not to be the case in Europe or North America. Um, I would just say, you know, look at the facts, um, keep an open mind to the facts and look at what the rest of the world are doing. Let's catch up Australia. Amazing thing, isn't it? We have a link to Paul's website at our website at todaytonightadelaide.com.au. That's todaytonightadelaide.com.au. Now, when we return to the program, the big